Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and as promised, this is Jurassic Park Rampage Edition on the Genesis. I said last night that I'd do it, and we're gonna do it. I'm gonna go to the player menu. You got Grant or you got the Raptor, just like the last game. I'm gonna go with the Raptor first, we'll come back and we'll swing by and hit Grant later. And that's what you collect. And we're starting with the Aviator on Isla Nubar. B's attack. Oh, A and B are attack. C is jump, and I love how the raptor does. Raptor can do flips. When have you ever seen a raptor do a flip, guys? Oh, wait, never. We weren't around for the dinos. Unless you're like a million years old. He's got a pretty good attack, too, but it's just the attack range isn't that good. You have to be like right up in the enemy's face for them to do any damage. You can use a tail with B if you're facing backwards, otherwise it's a kick. I think you could also jump on them, but I'm not sure. Double tapping C will do a roll which gets you up to higher places. What is that? Okay, he'll be shooting at me. These are some really nice graphics though. I will say that much. Now that we figured out the jump, I just warn you though, you're going to be using the double jump a lot, the double tap C. Come here you stupid pterodactyl. <laughs> I love that, you, I love that you just sit here and jump kick everything. That's like a cheap game and cheap move in fighting games at times. Hey, I had to do that in a few fighting games. I just wish I could get the platforming down right for these platforms up here. Ah, missed it. Let's stand underneath this one. I'm not gonna get up there, obviously, but... I haven't commented on the music yet. This is actually some good music. Just the pla I wish the platforming were better and we're up. Good. I think that might be the only complaint with this really good Jurassic Park game so far is that with the Raptor, the platforming isn't all there. A lot of your platforming, like I said, is going to require these double jumps. They're not a pain to pull off, thankfully. Okay, so you have to hit it A to eat that. And that's health is what that does. I don't even know if I want to bother with this, but I think I have to. I get a feeling when it comes to jumping, Grant's going to be useless. I mean, he was semi-useless in the last Jurassic Park game we played, remember? Uh, these platforms move way too fast. That's another complaint. Uh, jumping controls feel really floaty, but still a decent game, though. I mean, it's not going to get a low score for me. It's not going to get one of my trademark high scores. Probably a middling, uh, middling experience in the Jurassic Park franchise. Okay, now we've got the platforming all downwards. But i got to get up there somehow, so... At least this level is not timed, and I can master these jumps. Which is something I, I suggest you do, because you're going to need to. Bah! Got a little further that time. Still didn't hit the platform, though. Missed again. These, have, these jumps are going to have to be very quick. And don't double jump up the platforms. As you can see, it'll slip you off them every time you, you try it. I swear this music almost sounds like something out of rock and roll racing. That's good, though. You can ride on these almost as... I think... It looks like you can do it as long as you need to. But again, like I said, don't double jump. Plan your jumps carefully. Double jumping will almost not, never help you in this situation.
Alright, let's go up this way. At least we made it somewhere new, I think. Now, I've gotta have, have to figure out a way up there. Yay! New! Now get off my platform. Okay, so we gotta go the other way now, the right side of the platforms. Ugh, stupid platforms are starting to give me a headache. I should have practiced with this game before I started playing it for you guys. At least I landed on the platform over there. Uh, I just double jumped and I, I've been telling you the whole video not to double jump because it'll mess you up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Double jumping is, is a science, folks. Especially in a game like this. Got it. Finally. <laughs> Get out of here, you. Oh no, not this again. Get out of here. Oh good, at least that was a little bit easier. Will you get out of here, you pest? This music, though. I'm probably gonna have to give this a perfect 50. Maybe. Okay, so those... Whoa, it turned the whole screen red. That's odd. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have triggered that, huh? Okay, I need to go over here. I don't know what that... Why the screen turned red when I went backwards. Now it's back to normal. That was a weird little idea there. This game does have a lot of decent ideas. It's just some of them are not really implemented that well, I don't think. I could be wrong on that. This could be just something that I personally am sensing here, but... Gotta wait for one of these that's going up. Oh, died right on the platform. How about it? Now, back to the bridge. I gotta figure out who's throwing those stupid grenades at me. Oh, it was you. Stupid idiot. Ah! Well, that wasn't a good fall. You want to take these all the way up. And make sure you don't get hit while you're going up. Like I did. Stop shooting at me. I didn't do anything to you. I'm just a dinosaur minding my own business trying to go all the way up here. And you. Got out. Ah, there we go. At least I landed on one. That was a lucky jump. Ah, why can't I get up there? Stupid humans. Stop throwing things. I'm just trying to get up to the top. Apparently they don't want me to, but I got there. Now where? Okay, downward. And I died again. But we're right where we started. So we're right where we left off, so that's good. No more platforming. Or actually, no, yeah, no more of that for right now. I'm sure I'll run into it again. Yep. That's what I thought would happen. I'll stop impeding my platforming. Have a little bit of a running start there. There we go. Double jump was actually helpful there. Not that it hasn't been the old game or anything, but it was most helpful there. And there's the tail attack being helpful. Get out of here, you stupid, pesky human. 
I don't want anything to do with you. Man, I swear it's Raptor versus the world here. But any way you look at it, this game's graphics are still pretty amazing for a 16-bit Genesis game. Ah, uh, stop throwing things, humans. Apparently their mothers never told them it was rude to throw things. Especially if it's grenades. Wait, is this level ever going to end? I'm thinking not. But we're gonna ride it out and see how far we get with it. Okay, so what do we gotta do here? Other than double jump our way up the platform. There's an annoying beeping noise. I'm pretty sure that almost means I'm near out of life. Eh, well. I'll figure something out. Okay, time to grade this thing. The controls are very simple and easy to go through. That's why the controls are going to get a perfect 20 out of me. Like I said, I think I'm giving the music a perfect 50. That's going to be a 70. And the graphics are a perfect 20, are going to be a 20 for a total of 90 out of 100. This is a really great Jurassic Park game. It's, to me, it's an underrated gem. And I recommend everybody play it. Is it better than the one we played last night? No. Oh no, not again with the red. This is the only thing I feel like they did wrong with this. The stupid red hue. You on the zip line, come here. I'll get you yet. catch an up elevator. You. I'm not going to chase you all day. You're, you're going down at some point. Now send me down. Not that far down. I'm safe over here. There's two of you. Son of a gun, how do I get rid of you? So like I said, the video gets a 90. The game, I mean, gets a 90. If you end up liking the video, I would really appreciate a like, a comment, and a subscription. And I thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys soon. In our next video, we're going to be taking a look at some more movie-based games. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye, everyone.